Hey guys, welcome to Cal L Reviews, and today I've got a review of Fall of Cybertron Sound Blaster and Soundwave. So we're actually going to mainly review one and just compare to the other one, as they are pretty much the same figure. Um, one has laser beak, one has buzzsaw, one's black, one's blue. So we'll have a quick look at the boxes and then we'll get these bad boys open. So we've got Soundwave's box here, you can see nice open window here, bit of CG artwork of Soundwave from the game and laser beak there, little symbol, fall of Cybertron, pretty basic. Um, pictures of each of the different uh, cassettes that will be coming out. Couldn't find them when I picked this up, but they will be out soon. Just a couple of product photos, your normal tech specs, data disc included, um, auto ejects when it, um, auto transforms I should say when it ejects. So have a look at that. Soundwave, Soundwave has spent centuries making himself indisposable to the Decepticon cause. His body is packed with electronic communications gear. He is capable of teasing even the faintest transmission out of the microwave background, cracking the toughest quantum code, and jamming the most powerful signal. Together with his minions, he is one of the most effective weapons in the Decepticon arsenal. So there you go. Other side, big fat Decepticon symbol. And number one series, 001. Must work for MI6. So that's Soundwave. And now let's have a look at Sound Blaster's box. And there's Sound Blaster's box. Same thing. Uh, slightly different CG artwork there. Busts are included. Same thing. Again, the different minions that it comes, or not comes with, that you can get. And same sort of thing. Just shows you product artwork. But it's Sound Blaster instead of Soundwave. And restored to a fully functioning state. By his loyal minions and arcane science of an alien world, Soundwave takes a new name to reflect his lease on life. No longer content to simply manage electronic warfare for the Decepticons, he changes into battle again, or charges into the battle. Sorry about that. Charges into battle against Autobots using devastating sonic attacks to disable and disorient his enemies. So that his minions can finish them off. Sorry about my lack of the English language there, guys. <laughs> um, Sound Blaster there, again, bang. Series 01, 002, it's another MI6 agent there. Let's get these bad boys open. Okay, guys, we've got Soundwave out of his package. And as you can see, he's got laser beak on his arm there. Pull that down for the moment, and we'll just have a look at the robot himself. Now, when... Ooh. Ooh, ratchet, ratchety, ratchet. Um, when you pull him out of his package, he will have his arms down like so. Um, so you just got to push them up into position like that. So there he is, his sound wave. Um, he's got a nice thick chest due to his gimmick, which we'll see in a moment. But uh, he's a pretty good figure. I'll have a quick look at size comparison. I'll just bring in United uh, Magnus there. So. He is a big figure. Uh, nice solid size Voyager. Uh, he does feel um, a little, not bad plastic, but he feels a little hollow, which is again because of this uh, gimmick. But you know, he's solid, he's not going to fall apart or anything. But oh yeah, ratchety goodness. Uh, he's got these ratchets on him, which is great. Um, on the elbows there, but he's sound weight. Now, for his articulation, you have a 360 on the shoulder, in and out on the shoulder. Um, you can do this if you want, but I don't know why you would. You've got a in and out on, I suppose, the lower shoulder. You've got a bicep swivel. You've got a ratcheting uh, elbow. You've got a fist that will go in and out and wrist rotation. So it's got more articulation than I thought it would have, uh, which is good. Um, no waist. You do have a pin and socket, I suppose you would call it, um, in and out, back and forth. So pretty much a ball joint sort of uh, motion. There you've got a thigh swivel, 
nice 90 degree ratcheting knee and foot will go in and out but no pivot on the foot there on the foot that's a good one so he's pretty good now let's zoom in and have a look at his details a little closer now here's sound wave and you know he's pretty good got some good paint apps here purple there plenty of red uh blue plastic nice dark blue plastic some clear on here to show you can see his little tape deck looking thing there um, he's got the shoulder cannon here can remove it and put it in his hand if you wish. Um, so he's got that there, or you can just leave it up on his, his shoulder, up to you. Ah, uh, forgot to mention before, uh, he has a head articulation, but it's just a, a turn. Um, very tight on mine though. Uh, but yes, details, a little bit more red here. Good, it's got the purple on the wheels. A little red on the back, which you'll see later on. Small purple here. Paint on the wheels, which is good. The silver paint. Not bad. Uh, face sculpt isn't too bad. Let's get a bit of focus on it. There we are. Uh, face sculpt's not too bad. I don't mind that. Um, as for the gun again, uh, I do wish it had a little bit more paint apps. It looks a little cheap and very hollow, as are most of these. Uh, New figures are as they cut costs, uh, just like the back of his legs here. They are filled in, but you can see how hollow it is part of the transformation, so it's not too bad. So in general, uh, most of his gaps are used for something. Um, again, he, he does feel a little light for his size, but that's part of the gimmick. And to open that gimmick up, you just press on this little button, and that opens that. Now. This bit I didn't realise about these guys. This gimmick can hold three of these little micro cassettes, which I'll show you in a moment. But that's what happens. Um, unfortunately, you get this ginormous little plunger on the back here, which is how, which is how that works. Um, so that's a little odd, but um, I'm sure we can get over that for now. So if you get him loaded up with three cassettes, unfortunately. He ends up with this giant spine thing hanging out, uh, which is kind of dumb, but hey, what do you do about it? Not much. So, so be it. If you don't have the cassettes in, which I won't be posing in with them in, I'll have laser beak up on his shoulder somewhere. Um, it's not a problem, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's have a quick look at laser beak. We'll stick sound wave back there, and here he is, a little laser beak. Pretty cool. Basic paint apps, just a bit of silver over him. Uh, little Decepticon symbol. Pretty cool. Cool little head sculpt. Now, transformation for this guy is pretty simple, as you'd imagine. Um, first thing you're going to do is this whole section here is going to fold back and in. So you hold the head in and bring this section over. You, you need to hold this head in because if you don't, it will jam on there. So you hold the head in and then close that. These little bits just fold in like so. And there you go. Now, when you press this little button, it all springs out again. So, if you're going to put it down, don't put it down on that. I'll just show you again. Fold that in. Fold these in. And there you go. So, when you put it down, don't put it down on there. Or, it will explode in your hand. Explosions. Uh, yeah. So, that's laser beak. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> we will bring in Sound Blaster and the War for Cybertron Soundwave for some comparisons. Oh, yes, we will. Okay, guys, so we've got the two together Sound Blaster and Soundwave. As you can see, he's just a black and yellow or dark grey and yellow and gold version of Soundwave here. Um, yeah. I actually don't mind the look of this. I've never had a Sound Blaster figure before. Um, he's not that bad, actually. Obviously, he's got all the same articulation as Soundwave there, but just a different paint app. So we've got gold instead of the, the light purple. Uh, same gold here, same gold here. And yellow instead of the red. So, uh, also a dark sort of grey instead of the silver on the wheels. But basically the same 
guy. So we'll just sit those two dudes back there. Now we had Mr. Laserbeak here from before. Now we've got Buzzsaw. So Buzzsaw is just a gold or yellowish variant of Laserbeak, as he always was. And transformation for him is the same. Bang, bang, bang. And to transform him, you transform him. So I'll just go down a bit. Hey, there's crap on the finger. Um, down there. Come on, click together. So get on there. And boom. There he is. Okay. So. There's our figures. There's our dudes. Swap them around. That's them. And just to show you, I'll bring in the War for Cybertron Soundwave as well. And there they are with Soundwave from War for Cybertron. So you can see they're very similar. Uh, little Soundwave is a lot smaller than the big Soundwave, but very similar in design. Same sort of thing going on here with the legs. Slightly different, of course. Different feet due to transformation differences. Pretty identical in the arm department, even to the articulation and the way that the transformation works. Uh, slightly different hinge assembly there. Door is very similar, though I, I think I like the spike idea on this one a bit more. But nitpicking and the head, I actually like this head a lot more than this head. And then you've got your, your little cannony thingy majiggies up there. This sound wave doesn't have a gun like this, but oh well. So that's the three of them together. Plus some uh, minions here. But so be it. And you know what we're going to do now. Look at transformation. Alright guys, as for transformation, not too hard. It's very similar to the War for Cybertron. Uh, we're going to pull that off. Pretty simple. Uh, we're going to come back here. Now pull that out. And a little bit different order to the normal instruction. We're going to extend that little pin on there. Fold that all the way down. And just fold that out there for now. Come to the arms here. We're going to fold these little bits out. Fold them out. And come to the hands. Fold the hands in. They just slot into the, there like that. I'm going to turn the arms back, turn the arms back. We're going to bring these sections down. So actually, before we do that, just bring this little section forward and just let that sit there loose. Bring these forward, these forward like that. All right, so that's sitting there loose like that. Bring that down and fold that in and that pegs into the body. So I'm going to bring that down and you can see there's a little hole there little peg there and that pegs into the body like so and then these sections here they fold down and peg together and that little panel just will sit in there like that uh, it's a bit loose it just kind of sits there uh, they can fold or hang out like that up to you however you want to do it grab the arms here arms just fold down sit there like so fold down sit there like so and this section you know fold here Bang, and here, down, and that just sits there like that. All right, come down to the legs, grab this section here, rotate that back and up, so the wheel's up like that. Same on this side, rotate the feet behind, grab this whole waist section, fold it forward, or back, I should say, and while you're folding it back, just bring these legs out of the way, and that will just clip in there like that. All right, now, Get the legs, fold these up, and that foot will go under that little canopy, and the leg will peg in to that arm section there like so. So same, flip it over, folds in, in there, and that will just peg in like so. That little canopy just sits over like that. That's that, and there you have Soundwave in his vehicle mode. Very, very cool. And Let's move the camera back and have a better look at this guy. Or, instead of that, 
Well, I've got the camera here. Let's have a look at the details. <laughs> uh, purple wheels, which is almost light of piping. Um, but it's not, because it's just clear wheels. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Ugh. Okay. One. Destroying things. This is my first negative with this vehicle mode. Then I go and touch that and it flops out of there. It just sits in there. There's no peg. That's how it is in robot mode. You're just bringing it up on this little hinge like that. And it just has these little tabs that just sit in there. Um, don't like that. Um, that's the back. Secondly, you can see right inside there. Not a big thing, but you can. So, hey. There's a crutch. Oh, that should be sitting like that. And this little panel sort of covers everything up, but hey, it is what it is. But it's pretty cool. Um, the gun, where is it? There it is. You can just peg in on top there. You've got a gun mode. And it's a, a standard sort of peg size, so you can put other guns in there. Instructions show a G1 Prime gun sitting in the top, so fair enough. But that's his vehicle mode, and obviously he rolls. But let's put him down and bring the others in. Okay, guys, there they are. Ooh, ah. Can't talk as usual. There they are all together. Sound Blaster, Sound Wave, and Mini Sound Wave all together as a group. And we'll just move Mini Sound Wave out of the camera. And you can see these guys obviously roll. This one seems to drag a little bit on the undercarriage here, unfortunately, but they do roll. Um, but yes, again, yellow instead of red, gold instead of purpley, mauvey, lilac-y, lavender colour there. Uh, red wheels instead of purple wheels, with a dark grey instead of a silver. Gold instead of red, so you get the point. Ooh, they're noisy. Uh, gold there, not too bad. Same on the other side. Again, same problem here. These bloody things just like to flop down. But I like it. It's a big tanky vehicle mode. I um, actually prefer it without the guns on top. But then you've got mini sound wave. So move sound blaster out of the way. And you can see, very similar. So we've got the same type of wheel. Um, obviously, dimensions-wise, the new Soundwave is a hell of a lot fatter. Um, from the front, not too bad. Um, I actually like the vehicle mode of this better. Uh, it's a bit more streamlined. But the basic look is the same. And from behind, very similar again. Bit of a hole, you can see things there. But no real big issues. That's, they are what they are. So let's move that away out of the way. Move that out of the way. Transform this dude back and we'll show you how this gimmick works. With the magic trick, I'll show you how to transform this one instead. Okay, simply you pull the gun off, grab the legs. We're going to extend them out. They just sort of click off there. Extend that out. Hmm. That's interesting. Ratchet isn't working on that one. Oh well. Extend the feet out, grab down here, grab them on the crutch, and you pop that out um, up there, and that will peg into there like so. And that's almost his legs down. Fold these little wheels down like that, fold them down like that, and that's done there. Now grab this section here, fold that up, fold it all the way down, fold that in, and then push that in like so. Grab the arms, fold them out, grab that, fold that out, Again on this side, fold the arm, fold that out, bring that up, bring that up, like so, fold that back there, fold that back there, and fold these wheels out to the back, and to the back, come to the arm here, get your finger out in there, fold that the hand out like so. And there we are. Same thing on this side. Get the fingernail in there. Hand out. Hand out. That section there. Make sure the wheel's not in the way. Fold that in. Wheels sit there like so. 
and there you have your transformation. Now, for the gimmick, press this button, that comes out. Put him down, bring him in, transform him into his cassette mode, cassette mode, cassette mode, cassette mode done. Grab this little um, section here, put him in, like so. Close up the door, and then we just bring that to the front. So, as I said before, unfortunately that hangs out, but press this, and we'll try and capture this on film. Once you've got that, you press in this little panel. Wow, <laughs> flew out, and there he is. Um, yeah, so that's how the gimmick works. Um, it takes a bit of pressure to get that out, so again, you just fold him up into his cassette mode. Uh, like that, put him into the chest, close your chest, you would do that, and then press in onto this, I'll do it from the back, and that would pop that out, like this, and that will fly, hit the little button on the knees, and then we'll open it up. It's a bit hard to capture on film, I tried, you saw it fly across the room, but that's how the gimmick works, guys. So, the gimmick's not bad. Uh, big thing back here, it's a bit unfortunate, but that pushes that out. Auto eject on there. And I might film a little separate piece that you can see this. Uh, I'll bring the camera back and there'll be a link just up where this giant finger is. Um, and you can check that out. Alright guys, let's finish. Okay guys, that was a video review of Fall of Cybertron Voyager Class Soundwave. Sound Blaster, obviously Laser Beak and Buzzsaw. Um, I do recommend the figures, though, uh, due to the gimmick, that panel coming out the back is a little annoying, and also, in vehicle mode, this little panel flops off easy. They're the negatives. Other than that, they're, they're fun toys, and I definitely recommend them, as I said before. Um, which one do I like more? I actually like Sound Blaster a bit more. Um, and I'm going to try and pick up these cassettes. Check out the vid again up there of how the uh, thing fires out. <laughs> anyway, as usual, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, comment, share, all the old usual stuff. This is kal Reviews, Soundwave Soundblaster, your reviewer, I'm Chris. Thanks guys, see you later.